Hi, my name is Robert Gardo, and welcome to Immediate News. In breaking news, Ruben Tavares, a 17-year-old man, is still trying to figure out how he became the victim of a hit and run. Tavares was tossed into the air. He landed on his face and doesn't remember much. Tavares was able to walk himself to the Greyhound bus stop. There, his wife and several others called 911. Fifteen stitches and a few bruises later, Tavares knows he's lucky and said his focus is on finding the person responsible. In health news, the first Ebola case was diagnosed in the U.S., which was held on September 30th. The librarian man was treated in Dallas, and now many individuals have the fear of having Ebola. So many patients are having Ebola-like symptoms like fever, headaches, and muscle aches. Ebola symptoms are like similar to the flu symptoms. Doctors are saying to get the flu shot. Update on the World Trade Center. 13 years after the 9-11 terrorist attack, the resurrected World Trade Center is open for business. It's the centerpiece of the 16-acre site where the decimated Twin Towers once stood. The National September 11th Memorial and Museum built in Footprints of the Twin Towers is stated aim to honor those who perished on that Sunday, September morning. In shocking news, a Springfield woman by the name of Maura Bush, who state police say was speeding in Interstate 91 with a two-month-year-old infant in the vehicle, was caught with a thousand bags of heroin. Maura Bush was charged with trafficking heroin, unlicensed operation of motor vehicle, and speeding. The Department of Children and Families was contacted concerning the infant and later took custody of the child. Thank you for tuning in to Immediate News and have a good night.